morning back out in the creek this is the um, that little creek from my heart attack video luckily I've got the four wheel drive so I can drive down there and there you can see the um, same thing again uh, lots of quartz reefs is actually a mine only 500 metres from here been closed down for 20 30 years I think and the one thing I've noticed about this place it's super chunky because this this is only I think about two kilometers long this little tributary so any gold that's coming out of here you know or going into here it's coming out of these banks so it doesn't travel very far and it's super nuggety what I'm doing today I found this little bed crop uh, bedrock house crop just gonna clean out all the way along this ledge. I like these ones that run across the creek. Cut the sluice. Oh, both of them actually, I wasn't sure what the water flow would be like. This should be alright. I used that the other day, gee, it's good. So it'll be good in summer. So we'll clean all this out, we'll run some through the sluice and see if we can get some a few pickers. That's what I come here for. Alright, there wasn't quite enough water for the um, the Eureka, so I've got the grub stake going. I've got a bit of dead water, a pool there, but once that fills up with tailings, she'll flow through better. So, we go. I'm not sure about this bit where I'm digging, because I think the mine cleaned it out last year. So it clears out pretty quick. That's good. One thing I really like is how quick it is to clean out. You just empty it into a pan. It takes you know 20 seconds, a couple of minutes to pan it out, you're done. So it's sitting here, it's got a little bit of an angle upwards. So it's not too, I actually like it because it holds the gold a little bit better. Can't see it yet. So, beautiful. Gee, it runs well. So I'm going to clear it at the end a little bit. You can see where I'm cleaning out here. Like I was thinking about really what you become is a sluice box cleaner, don't you? Like if you can find, you know, a natural sluice box, you can see a ripple here, or a crack here, 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 big one there. And sometimes I only you know you don't even know until you scrape all that off the top and then you'll see these cracks. It's always by far where you get the most gold. We've got a nice little drop here anyway, so imagine when that's really coming through. There'll be a negative pressure zone here anyway as it curves over, so hopefully it's all dropping down along this ledge. So I'm going to clean them all out. I might even clean out around here too. You can see uh, uh, well, no, it doesn't really show up that well, but just here, this is a stacked pile of rocks from the old timers. You can see it almost looks like a wall. Runs in layers. A lot of this area was worked by the Chinese. And they stacked up their rocks real neat. If you can really see it here. It doesn't show up as well. So someone's obviously when they first come through here, clean all this out and stack them up there. Got plenty of nooks and crannies here to clean out. Alright, uh, I'll keep going and I'll show you a couple of cleanups. I've done that first bucket. And you can see you know, a teeny tiny amount of concentration. Right?
saving it some nice chunky gold. Uh, there are a couple of specks there. It's the problem with having a terrible memory. I know there was one ledge here I cleaned out last year. This is just from one bucket, the first bucket. You see how the top there is a bit of gold. Shadow issues. Let's see that. Well, it's a start. Thought those cracks would be given a little bit more than that. Well, we'll keep going, see how we go. I'll run a few buckets. These are the cracks I'm cleaning out. What I'm going to do, hopefully. Yeah, that'll move that one. So I'll clean all this out and then we'll run it through and we'll see what we get. And you can see from this where it's all collecting. I think that's going to come out. Yeah, that'll move for sure. So I'll clean all that out, pass the light down and we'll give it a run. Now, I just ran that second bucket. I was getting a bit worried after that first one was not that great, but bang! Chunky gold! We'll just swap hands. That's a great one. Oh. It's really. Profile on it, nah. It's a nice chunk, that one. That one's so good, yeah. There's heaps of little stuff in there, but as you're used to, this camera doesn't show it up that well. That was only just the next bucket. You can see, um, I just cleaned out this bit. So that's looking good so far, let's we'll stick with it. I love chunky stuff. It's funny how much more motivated you get. Like I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll go up there. Because the reef runs across the creek. I'll go up there one day and show you. It's a bit of a hike up there. Like the big, big, thick reef with that, where the mine. So the mine was running in this way, in towards this river, and the reef actually runs all the way across it. You can see it's about a foot thick. The quartz reef running across it. But we'll keep going in this little area. Let's see how we go. Let's get some more chunks. Pick them out. I mean, you can probably, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but if you have, the um, gold mine heart attack one is when I come down here, just have a look. I only had a pan, I think. I didn't have a snuffer bottle, and I got two pickers just down here, but I had to put them in my phone so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> so, so, there you go, after a few more buckets. That's two buckets down. And I only do the half bucket. Yeah, as you can see, um, Clean that whole area out. All the way down. You remember that was all gravel. You can see a fair bit of gold glittering in that first riffle. It's just started to rain. If I get stuck down here when it's really raining, I'll never get any car out up that big hill. So, that plot was underneath all that gravel. I came right up in here. In here. I cleaned that one. I blocked it up here cleaned it right out. So let's see how we go. We'll do a quick clean up and we'll show you and then it got pretty dark here all of a sudden. We can get out of here. Alright, all cleaned up. Same again. Pretty chunky.
I want to do one here. Alright, it's well worth cleaning out those um those crevices. And I ran I think about four or five buckets all up. I unblocked the creek a little bit and put that um Eureka back in there. Let's see there how much I cleaned that out. That was all just gravel. I'm pretty happy with that because usually here the gold gets better as you go up the creek because the rain was coming. I didn't really want to um, get stuck. Oh, good boy, got the whole day. It's three pretty good bits, isn't it? Oh, I've got the shivers. The shorts on under my blade is sort of that. Yeah, that's pretty good goal. Oh, stand up to the shade on it. Bad, huh? Let's see. It's all pretty chunky. Almost probably three pickers. One, two. Can get off that pan over, mate. Yeah, all pretty good ones there. Oh, uh, that's good. Especially now that I can drive down here. Let's see how we go when we go up. Like I said, it's just clean out cracks, that's all you're gonna do. Let's see, I probably can do a better job with that, but I don't have a Proper crevice into it with me. I think the next next time I come here I'll clean this bit out. You can see the cracks are running through there. And then one day I'll walk up and show you where that quartz crosses the creek. Most of the through here was in dikes. Like you can see um, there's a red one this one. You can see the quartz string is all in there. Wherever they found these dikes, which is just like a bump in the creek, they found a lot of gold. That's the red. It was red. That's actually blue. It's one of the blue dikes, and another quartz. And it was yellow as well. I can only find a little bit of the yellow. But you can see the quartz in them all. So they just looked for those dikes, smashed them up, and got rich. So that's all for this video. It's actually clearing up a little bit. I might stay for a little bit longer. And I'll see you all next time. So I kept going. I just kept moving across to that old corner right there. I've been watching. Some, uh, Yeah, that first riffle I saw it in there. I'm glad the rain held off. It's a good little place.
That's what I love about this slick plate, you know, you can just see them in there. I watched it, sat down and it tumbled off when I put this one in, but that's another good size one, this thing. Heap of stuff around trying to get this plate right, there's just enough to do it. I'll just give this one any stuff Oh, that's a cracker. When I get home, I might put that under the magnifying glass for yeah. Got some good depth in it. What I actually found, I'm not sure. I might have to sell some gold in this camera. Just here. I can't come back in There's actually a quartz stringer breaking down right in there. I might go all the way show you this. Oh, and I kept going. It's getting pretty late in the day, it's getting dark. That's where I originally cleaned out. I just kept going into that little drop. This is this pan. So chunky. That's a good little spot. Pretty awesome, really. <laughs> so now, let me just put it down so you can see. 